Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about using the Power Editor feature that's built, built into the Ads Manager on Facebook. And what you would use the Power Editor feature for um, is going to be using a thing called Custom Audiences. So if you actually happen to have like maybe a list of Facebook users, or if you happen to have a list of email addresses um, from your own email list, you can go ahead and import them into Facebook and then go to your Ads Manager and create an ad around those users. So let's go ahead and let's get started on how to do that. So the first things first is you'll go ahead and go in your ads manager on Facebook. And then you'll notice here on the left hand side there's the power editor. So we'll go ahead and go into that. Okay. And then once in the power editor what we'll go ahead and do is we want to create our audience. So we'll go ahead and hit audiences. Alright. And then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll hit create audience. Alright. And then we'll go ahead and go to custom audience at that point. All right, now your audience name, you'll want to go ahead and maybe just give the title of who you're targeting. So uh, we're going to do IMers, okay? And then for your description, you type in that, okay? And then for your file, obviously pretty simple. You go ahead and choose your fi file that you're looking for. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then what you'll go ahead and do is for type, is you'll choose in the type of file you're putting in. So if it's email addresses, you'll go ahead and make sure that's selected. If it's telephone numbers, you'll choose that. And then if it's UIDs, which are unique Facebook user IDs, you'll go ahead and check that, which in this case my list is. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, hit create. So it'll go ahead and tell me it's reading that, and it'll say your audience has been uploaded, and it may take up for one to one hour. So we'll go ahead and hit close. And um, I went ahead and already, to save time, I went ahead and uploaded the list before. But basically, when it goes from wait, what you'll do is you'll hit the check updates, and you're waiting for it to change from waiting to ready. Once it says ready, pretty much we're good to go at that point. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, actually I'll go ahead and delete this audience here because we don't need that anymore. But in your case, obviously, we, uh, <laughs> we won't be doing that. Okay. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go back to our ads manager. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hit create users. Okay. Or I'm sorry, create an ad, not create users, create an ad. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and choose of where we want to advertise to. So if it's a URL or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and choose uh, facebook.com because I want to. All right, and then for headline, go ahead and, and uh, we'll put tests, and we'll put testing um, there for the text. Now, this obviously, this is where you're going to create your ad. That's a totally, entirely different video. That's not what I'm here to show you today. So you guys will be able to play around with that. Basically, what I'm teaching you today is the choose your audience feature. So you've already, this is probably one of the most daunting, um, because you have to actually go through here and, you know, figure out who your target audience is and kind of play around with it. But if you already have a list of email addresses, or if you already have a list of um, Facebook users who are actively engaged, engaged in the niche you're targeting, you're pretty much ready to go. So you don't even have to worry about this. So this makes it a lot easier. So what you'll do is you'll just come down here, and where it says custom audience, here's our list that we uploaded. We'll go ahead and just check it. And then it'll go ahead and update and say, this is how many people we have there. Now, obviously, it's probably been niched down. Um, so if we take away the United States, it probably should have a lot more. Okay, so if you want, you can go ahead and target all of those people. Now, you can niche it down if you want to, and one of the reasons that you can do this is, let's say if you have maybe um, a pay-per-lead program that will only accept traffic from certain countries or will only accept, um, will actually maybe give you more if you target certain countries, you definitely can do that. So if you wanted to go ahead and choose United States, and we'll throw in the United Kingdom, we'll throw in France, uh, you know, uh, Mexico, why not Mexico, okay? And you'll see, obviously, it's going to change according to what you're putting in there. And, of course, you can change it to women if you only want to target women. So you see that my list has gone from, you know, 4,700 down to 1,400. So you see how the, all that works, okay? And With this um, Facebook lead system software, you are able to uh, make custom search on the particular type of people you would like to market to. Say, for instance, you want to target a specific audience who are interested in their specific things. All you need to do is to enter a keyword and search for it. Like, now I'm going to search for the keyword shoes, for example. Okay. I'm going to search in, I can even search in pages. So, any, everybody who has, you know, liked a particular company regarding their shoes, I could, you know, um, search for those pages and extract um, people who have, you know, liked the page. And that is very, very good, you know. 
So, so let, if let me go for groups for this example, I click on go. Okay. As you can see, it's bringing up um, some search and um, bringing up some good results. And then another thing I want to tell you: don't um, listen to the figures because the figures is actually more than what it says here. Because uh, once you go to extracting the emails or the user IDs, you actually find that it's actually more than what you stated here. Simply because you know Facebook takes um, some time to actually update the real figures. Okay, let me stop for now. It's because the search could go on forever. You could choose which group you want to you want to extract from. So, for this example, I'm going to um, <coughs> let's say, for instance, I want to um, extract um, um, Facebook emails. So, so once say, for instance, I'm interested in this audience, I want to market my products specifically to this audience in these groups. Now there are up to 5,000 members, although it says 23. So all I need to do is, once I extract the Facebook emails, um, there's a feature that Facebook has, uh, which is called Power Editor, that you can create custom audience using specific um, factors, such as if you have a bunch of um, phone numbers, and you can upload it in Power Editor to, to market specifically to those people who, are, who has those numbers or if you have Facebook emails emails you can upload them to market specifically targeted to those users which means that each time those users log into Facebook they will see your ad nobody else will see it apart from them and that's the beauty of this program here in the next um, video I will um, leave a link I will include a video in this link which will show you how to use power editor and how effective it could be used in targeted cheap marketing. So let us go ahead and try to extract um, the emails. I can either choose IDs or I can choose emails. But for this example, I'm going to choose emails, okay? I can go ahead and extract emails, okay? And once it does happen, you're going to see um, <coughs> um, this icon. And you can see the whole process is in action. It's happily extracting all the possible um, combination of Facebook emails it, it can find. And you can see that it's, it's now on 140, 158, but uh, before I extract it, you can see it was 23. That's just an example to show you that don't really um, listen to these figures because the actual members are more than these figures you're seeing here. So this could go on forever is uh, because the list is really, really, really huge. <coughs> I'm not going to wait, so I'm just going to stop the process. And if I stop the process, I will still be able to get um, some results. Okay, so I'm going to stop extracting. Yes. Then I'm prompted to um, I'm prompted to save it. So I'm going to write choose. Okay. I'm going to save it in text files and save. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, let me bring it up. Mm -hmm. Let me bring it up. One second. Um, let me bring the file up. Just one second. Uh, choose. Okay. So this was what we saved. Okay. And I'm going to open the file. Beautiful. You can see. All the Facebook emails. These are all these people who have expressed interest in shoes. These are all the people who has <coughs> joined the group, and you know these people are interested in shoes, and you can market specifically to these people without marketing to the audience. And this is what we call targeted audience. You know where your marketing is going. You have huge intelligence about what you're doing, and you can see the list goes on forever. And all you need to do is, <coughs> when you're creating a campaign on Facebook, you upload these emails and you tell Facebook, Facebook, I want to market specifically to this audience. And that's what we call, that's what we mean by Power Editor. Um, Facebook has has a feature called Power Editor, which many users might not have known, but they do have this um, feature called Power Editor, which allows um, users to market to specific audience using specific factors they have, such as emails, 
then user IDs, phone numbers, etc. Okay, so this is just an example, and then you can go ahead and uh, you can also um, search for pages. <coughs> okay, so, <coughs> so sorry. So uh, let's say, for instance, I want to I want to know. I want, to, I, want, I want to grab audience from people who have expressed interest in shoes in a particular Facebook page or I want, I want to steal some audience from my competitors so all I have to do is to you know, type my keyword, I'm going to use the same keyword or let me change the keyword ok, let me use the keyword beauty ok and let's click on go ok you can see it's um, bring out a result, quite a huge result you can see here like you can see the likes you can see how many people are talking about this. These are people who are interested in beauty. And if I have any product that I want to promote on beauty, all I have to do, you know, is to, you know, just, you know, um, just choose any page that I would like to extract from. Maybe, oh, I like this audience. This audience is quite huge. All I need to do is to click on that. Okay. Choose whether I want the emails or IDs. Uh, but I think you can go ahead with emails because um, currently um, Facebook allows us to upload emails. If you need to upload IDs, you have to have an application. So you go ahead and choose what you want. Um, you can choose options to, um, and you can choose male, female, <coughs> sorry, and you could, you know, exclude any languages which you don't want. So that's the beauty of this program. Facebook list system allows you to harvest and target audience and upload them to Facebook and target your campaigns to them only.